Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna show you how you can hook up your HCP account to work with your Terraform Cloud account. You know, a lot of the examples that we show within the UI or within our learn guides include running Terraform, uh, which you can of course do locally, but if you're gonna be using this across a shared team, it might be good to start with the Terraform Cloud account where you can create a shared workspace and have it hooked up to a different repository if I'm gonna incorporate something like an application in addition to the HCP tools that I'm gonna provision. So what we'll do here is we'll walk through how to create a new workspace, attach it to an existing GitHub repo that we have that includes some Terraform code, and then show you how to set up your variable sets so that you can use that in order to provision new infrastructure and new HTTP clusters with Terraform Cloud. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a new workspace. When you go to create a new workspace, you have three different options that you can choose. You can choose the version control workflow, which is what we're gonna do since we're hooking this up to a GitHub repo. You can do the CLI driven workflow if you're gonna be running things remotely. And there's more advanced options here, and there's links to be able to learn more if you're curious about which workflow makes the most sense for you. As you can see, I've already hooked this up to my GitHub account. And what I can do is I can choose my repo. We can add a description. We can say this is for testing HCP console. And then we have some advanced options as well. And so one of the things we could do is if I have a specific directory within my environment, I could actually choose this. So I've already got the setup where I have an example and an AKS demo. And so we wanna pull from the variable file in here as well as use all the configurations within this file. You can choose to set it to auto apply when runs are done or manual applies and a series of other capabilities as well. So when I go ahead and create the workspace, what it's gonna do is search for my variable file and you'll notice that we have our ATP client secret and our client ID. We're gonna skip these for now and we'll set them up in a second just because I wanna make sure that we show you where to get the, that information in the, port, in the cloud portal first. So once we have this all configured, the next thing we need to do is we need to set up our variables. And the one variable we're gonna to need to do is called a service principle. So in order to do that, we're gonna to need to go to our HCP account. Within your HCP account, you'll notice that we have obviously the options for deploying the tools, but in the corner here, you'll notice that we have something called access controls. These access controls are important for managing who can access your HCP account. And so what we need to do is we need to create a service principle. The service principle is the way that we can allow the Terraform API to reach out to HCP and authenticate that we have permission to be able to create and manage resources on our behalf. If I create the service principle, you'll notice that I have a handful of them here. This one is as an administrator. What I can do is I can create a new client ID. Currently, you can only have two keys for each service principle that you create. So you'll notice that I'm at the key limit here. This is one that I'm not really using anymore, so I can go ahead and delete it. and then I could create a new one. So if I generate a key, I'm gonna need this information which we'll copy over. Uh, you'll only be able to get the client secret at the initial time that you create it, so make sure that you copy it because you won't be able to retrieve it again later. So now that we've created our client ID and our secret ID, the next thing we need to do is we need to save them as variables so we can have Terraform Cloud pull those when we wanna do a run. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add variables here. Uh, as you can see, we have nothing added just yet. Once these variables have been added, I could create what's called a variable set. Uh, this would allow me to set, share this across multiple workspaces. So if I have multiple teams with their own workspaces who are all gonna be using the same HCP account, we can have them share credentials. And if you mark them as sensitive, they actually won't show up for those other users. So you can control who has access to the actual credentials themselves. Uh, so this is a good practice for being able to share it, especially if you're gonna have multiple work streams walking, working off the same HCP organization. So in order to do this, I just pull from the Terraform variable file what I had. So I've set up a couple variables for an HCP client ID, which we're gonna get from here. We can save that variable. And then I also have one for a client secret ID. And for each of these, you have the option of marking them as sensitive. If you mark them as sensitive, they're not gonna show up and, and they're not gonna appear in the logs. So if you don't have sensitive variables, so things like secret keys, you wanna make sure that you save that. 
once these are set up, you're good to go. So now we have this successfully configured that if I was gonna execute a run with my Terraform Cloud account, it will be able to authenticate with HTTP and build the necessary resources that I wanna do. For some demonstrations on what that looks like, I recommend checking out the HTTP UI where we have some quick start modules for getting started with Terraform. We also have them available on learn.hashicorp.com where you can see more information about how you can do end-to-end -end automation with Terraform and HTTP. Thanks for watching.